karibuni sana 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 to my channel my name is Mercy Kiando for those who do not know me and for those who are my old subscribers karibuni tena i really appreciate you i do not i do not have the words to say how much i appreciate you coming back and taking your time to watch my videos so today we are going to be talking about a natural hair starter packs now i remember when i was in primary yeah primary we were not allowed to have long hair so we never we used to cut our hair um but when i went to sec secondary school i remember that's when we we were allowed to have um remember when we went to secondary school that's when we were allowed to have like long hair but the only problem was you were supposed your hair should be it was supposed to be straight i went to high school i had a, a problem because my sister could it wasn't dada yangu hakuwa na niruhusu ku to chemically treat my hair so i had to stay with my natural either i had two choices either to cut actually three choices either to cut my hair or maintain my natural hair as much uh, as it grows or to go for the full blow blowout <laughs> i don't know if you guys know it the one that you do a blowout that looks almost like you've chemically treated your hair it was too painful for me so i had to i first started like going natural as much as i didn't know anything about it but then eventually i had to cut off my hair till when i finished form 4 and then when i went to university i started out natural again i think i was in love with natural hair since then but i didn't realize it but i preferred having natural hair but because my hair i didn't know how to take care of my hair or maintain my hair then so i i went to um to chemically treat my hair of which until in between i think i cut my hair like twice or thrice and then fully up to now I've, uh, it's been like one year and few months since their journey now the things that i would wish if uh, somebody would have told me in maintaining my natural hair then when i was still in high school these are the things that i'm putting it out there so first of all the first thing that you need when you are starting out natural hair is to um, shampoo shampoo to clean off clean their hair so for me I, i had ideas of shampoo of course if you're either natural or non-natural you need shampoo to clean your hair so or rather to cleanse your hair so i know i mean i know everyone on a duo kwamba you will need a shampoo so but what i didn't know is the details towards shampoo that is you need this i'm not going to go into details on how to use the products i'm just going to mention the things that you really need when you are starting out as yeah when you're starting out in this general natural hair journey so the first thing is 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 shampoo Now on the shampoo there are two types of shampoos that you will need. The first one and the most important one is the sulfate free shampoo. Now for me I use the Mosara sulfate free shampoo. Uh this is the one. And I'm sure for those who have uh, been through my journey in my YouTube channel and if you following if you're following me on um IG Instagram you know that um, I speak a lot a, a lot of good things about the Mosara brand not that this is a sponsored video never sponsored but what I try to do is I try to put out more information on the things that I would have wanted to know when I started my 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 journey now Mosara I love Mosara brands and most of the products that I'm going to show here are Mosara brands but you can use any other brand so long as it fits in with the things that I'm going to show you a sulfate free shampoo there's so many 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 brands one of them is the Mosara brand that I use another one is the Tanzanian brand called um natural desire she also have a sulfate free shampoo um shea moisture we have um a lot of brands that i'm sure you know of by now so all you need is a sulfate free shampoo now for those who may not know you will also need a sulfate shampoo i know this doesn't go well with a lot of uh, people but you would also need um a sulfate shampoo now when you are using a sulfate shampoo simanishi kwamba you are supposed to use any type of sulfate shampoo use a sulfate shampoo that is also not damaging to your hair that is the difference now the difference between um 
the one I use is this, I can't pronounce the word, is the Tresemen used by professional um, uh, shampoo. I picked this one because it's for dry or damaged hair. You see, it's not really bad, but it's a sulfate shampoo. There are other types of sulfate uh, shampoos out there which are really good to your hair. Now, the difference between uh, sulfate-free shampoo and um, the sulfate shampoo is... Now, this is the trick. If you're washing your hair like every week, once every week, then this boo is yours but if you do like um protective styling you stay like three weeks two weeks without washing your hair then a selfish sulfate shampoo is for you now the, the the only thing that you need to be careful about is when you're using a sulfate shampoo is when you are when you're treating a, your hair you need moisturizing treatment so this is all about shampoos I hope you understand by now you'll need a sulfate free shampoo any brand that you like and a sulfate shampoo comprende <laughs> the second thing that you need is a conditioner a conditioner that is good for you uh, now for me personally I don't normally use a conditioner because a conditioner is mostly used when you want to detangle your hair that I used conditioner mostly for detangling my hair now because I pre poo using oil I don't normally use conditioner but just in case you'd also need a, a, a a, a conditioner that is good for natural hair that is good it doesn't have um parry beans whatnot that are not good for your hair now the type of um conditioner i use is the mosara brand that as you can see it's still not used that much i i, I normally use it sometimes when i don't want to pre-pull like that so yeah the rich conditioner from Mausara brand as i said before you can use any conditioner from any other brand we have mikala we have um we have sheer moisture we have anti jackies yeah so any type of conditioner that is good for natural hair that is not damaging to your natural hair that is the second thing on your starter pack on the third part that is um treatment now we have um, moisturizing treatment and we have uh, protein treatment. Now, uh, this is a thing that I came to learn about later onwards um, through experience that you need both of them. And that's why I'm putting it in the starter pack because they are both important. One, you will need to use a moisturizing shampoo every week like let's say in a month you need a moisturizing uh, treatment and the type of treatment that i have and that i always talk about the mosara deep treatment mask this one this if i'm told to choose one thing from this starter pack this would have been the one so this is a very moisturizing um treatment and the reason why you need a moisturizing treatment to treat your hair every week is because first of all natural hair tends to be dry not tends to be dry it is dry so we need moisture in our hair so that it can reduce breakage and so that we can see the length because as the breakage reduces thus you see length obviously so that's why you will need a deep treatment mask that is very moisturizing to your hair uh the protein treatment you are supposed to use it once a month like in four weeks use it once or in three weeks use it once i don't know if you understand so you will need a protein treatment your hair is made of protein so you need protein in your hair so yeah and the one that i use is a dark and lovely amla legend this one it's for breakage replenishing hair mask it's a deep treatment also it's a protein treatment you can use also mikala mikala has also um a protein treatment they have more mayonnaise the, um, other brands that have protein treatments i'm not that conversant with them because 
I stuck with this because I've seen results. So, yeah. And but I'm going to put some of the other brands, some of the names of the brands that really work in the description description box below. Yeah. So the 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 reason why you need to use once for the protein treatment is because yanini rahisi when there is damage when there is moisturizing a lot of moisture in your hair it it is easy to correct it but it's very hard to correct a lot of protein in your hair that's why you're supposed to use it once every week now on the fourth package you need a leave-in a leave-in is basically when you wash your deep treatment the leave-in is the one that brings or maintains your moisture throughout the week now the kind of leave-in that i use is the hydrating um butter from 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 um mosara brand this yes it's very moisturizing like i said mosara brands are very moisturizing that's why i have like the whole range of it and again it's not sponsored <laughs> so yeah um you can have any type of leave-in. Mikala has leave-in. Um, Shea Moisture has leave-in. Yeah, some of the other brands, I'm going to put them in the description box below, like I said, but that's what you need. The curling butters are normally used um, during styling, like just like leave-in. And we have so many brands of curling butter. We have Cantu, we have Marini, which I've had so much, so many reviews, which are good, good reviews about it. We have... Um, the anti jackies Carl Lala. We have also um, we have uh, we have we have curls and naturals um, curling cream. That's the one I have. I've not used it that much because I bought this and then I discovered uh, Mosara brand and I stopped using this. But it really works well. And the one that I use is this um, moisture milk. It used in, in, in styling and at the same time it can be used to add in moisture during the midweek. It's not a styling uh, or a curling, but it's not a curling butter, but it works for me. So I use this. That is for curling butter. There are two methods normally that we use in the in the in, 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 in styling. That is the lock method the, and the LC um, LCO method. Uh, you can choose either of them depending which works best for your hair. Sealants are the, the substances, that, substances that we normally use to block, I mean, moisture loss from our hair. And the type of sealants that we normally have, in, w w that we normally use on our hair are these um, organic uh, oils. Examples, we have coconut oil, which I do not have, but you can use coconut oil and you can also use uh, extra virgin uh, olive oil, which I do have. and. I normally use this extra virgin oil both for my hair and for my body which works really really well and another type of a sealant is the shea butter i have uh, the whipped shea butter which works really well also i use it also for my body and also for my hair as you can see it's almost getting over yeah and these are the types of um sealants that we normally have now satin is normally recommended the material satin is normally normally recommended because it has less friction between your hair and the material itself so less damage to your hair and also it's less absorbent actually it's very it has very minimal absorption so it tends to retain your moisture on your hair that's why we normally recommend for a person to either sleep in a satin bonnet or sleep in a satin scarf that like the one I have this one it's like the one that I normally have all the time I also have a satin bonnet but I can't find it at the time and you can if you you're not really good at wrapping your head you can sleep on a satin uh, pillowcase or a satin bed sheet whatever works for you so I hope you've all learned something uh, about this natural hair starter pack and if you have any question, any comment, any idea you can, or any addition, you can just put it in the comment section. Until next time, bye guys.